Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with Learn Cybersecurity. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about what my path to cybersecurity looks like. And this could be different for everybody, but I have been interested in the cybersecurity field for the last few years. I've been involved with uh, the IT field for the last 16 or so years, but I'm really trying to focus all of my sites on cybersecurity. I'm most interested in the blue team. If you want to determine, you know, cybersecurity based on teams, if you've ever heard of it um, split up that way. Um, a blue team would refer to kind of like an internal security team or um, the defending team, if you will. So you may work for an organization where you are um, trying to figure out how you can protect your network, protect your users, protect your computers, and uh, things like that. Whereas a red team, you may have heard that term as well, uh, you can look at that as more of um, your penetration testers and people who are trying to um, manipulate your network, manipulate your red team, and find weaknesses, find the exploits within your organization, your applications, and things like that. Um, I like the blue team because um, I, while I enjoy thinking like, you know, a hacker per se, why I enjoy, you know, that the whole thought process there, I like to defend, I like to um, protect my people, I like to protect my end users. So a lot of the roles that I've played, I've done a lot of training, I have been involved in different security related um, type of roles, but nothing really set in stone. So for me, being able to be on a team where I can help the organization, where I can help my end users, I think that's best suited for me. Now, I don't necessarily know where my end game lies. You know, I don't necessarily think I'm going to go uh, through this entire field and get my CISP, for instance, um, which is like, a, that's a very high end certification, like very end, end game certification there. Um, I, I don't think that's for me. You know, I I don't think I want to be in, in that big of like a management high level type of role, but I do want to be part of something where, you know, what I'm doing makes a difference. And I think cybersecurity, you, you are part of a team that makes a difference. And that's really important to me. You know, I, I really enjoy helping people. That's one of the biggest things um, that I enjoy about IT in general is helping people. So it, it kind of only makes sense to me to to join um, the cybersecurity field and help more people. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about um, what my my potential path is looking like so far. Like right now, I am scheduled to take my security plus not specifically scheduled the date to actually take the exam. Um, if you guys know or don't know, I have another YouTube channel called IT Career Questions where I help people get into the IT field. Um, I partnered up with CompTIA, these guys right here, CompTIA, uh, to go through the Security Plus course that they have with their Cert Master Learn program. So I'm going to go through the course there and look at like six to eight weeks there, and then I'm going to go and take the exam. So starting in January um, is, is when I'll be taking the, uh, the courses, and then hopefully by the beginning of March, I'm really, really hoping that I will uh, be Security Plus uh, certified. And that's kind of the beginning of my journey um, into getting into cybersecurity. And getting the Security Plus will be my very first certification. So I've worked in this field for, like I said, the last 16, 17 years. I've never been certified. I've only been in this field based on experience. Being able to say I have a certification is going to be actually really exciting, and it's very nerve-wracking for me. But I know that... Uh, Finally, going and getting the cert is going to be something that really opens up the doors for more certifications. So we're going to talk about that a little bit more here. And we're going to open up the IT certification roadmap. And here you can see uh, all the different kind of areas within IT. You have information security, network and cloud technologies, uh, hardware services and infrastructure, IT management and strategy, and etc. Over here on the left-hand side, it goes from beginner, intermediate, advanced, and uh, expert. I have no no doubts about taking the Security Plus. It should be something that I should be able to pass, being that I'm very familiar with the IT field. So that's the first certification that I'm going to take. Um, now again, very familiar with IT. Um, 
Now this might not be the best path for you. You might want to start off with something like the A plus so you can get your fundamental knowledges of computers and go to like a network plus so you have that fundamental knowledge of networking um, and then go for your security plus. So for me, it's going to be security plus and then I need to get more networking experience because I know for me, um, I'm going to want to dabble in like penetration testing and things like that. And just so I have kind of that background, just so I kind of have that knowledge of how things work. So networking is something that I really need to pick up my skills on. So I'm going to go for my CSENT. So I'm actually kind of going to go back one and go get my CSENT, study for that, because I really want that knowledge of how networking works and how Cisco equipment works, uh, because Cisco's everywhere. So we'll go and do that. And then we're going to go for the CEH, which is the Certified Ethical Hacking certification that's from ec council and then after that we're going to go for the comptia pen test plus now those are like the first four certifications that i have planned out that i really want to get now does that necessarily set me on a path to cybersecurity? i mean it sure it could potentially right now what role does this put me in with these certifications well i mean Based on the certifications that I've told you, it really puts me in um, some type of penetration testing role. Now, is that exactly where I want to be? Not necessarily. But for me, I want to have the fundamental knowledge of how some of these different technologies and things within cybersecurity work. For me, having a general understanding of, you know, uh, what falls within certified ethical, ethical hacking certification. Uh, that's something that's going to be important to me. You know, what different technologies and, and exploits and, and things that are discussed on the CEH exam um, do I need to know? Will I run into in the future? Um, will I need to utilize in the future? And, and things like that. Um, what about the pen test plus? Will, will I actually be doing penetration testing in the future? Maybe, but probably not. It's not really something that interests me, but I want to make sure that I have a good understanding of how it works because I might be on the other side of that. I might be defending an organization that is, you know, being attacked or um, we're being like uh, audited uh, by a red team. And, you know, I want to understand how these penetration testing um, companies are working in trying to target us and do their pen tests on, on our systems and things like that. So what can I do to defend our systems? How can I look at um, uh, patching all of our different exploits uh, or patching our, all of our you know vulnerabilities and things like that? So that's like the kind of things that I'm looking at. Now, again, I don't, I don't really know what my end game is. I don't think I specifically have one set in mind at this point. And that's okay. I don't think you have to have your end game planned out to the, like right away. You know, if I go through like two of these certifications and I find out that, well, you know, while the, the Cert security plus was great and the pen test plus was fun, for instance, you know, those were great certifications, but I'm really not feeling it. And I kind of want to jump back to doing like uh, something that's more, um, you know, Microsoft related, because I just might not enjoy security as much, you know, I, I could, I could feel that way. So uh, not having that end game planned out right now is okay with me. Uh, I don't want to set my sights too high for something. I don't want to reach something that could be unobtainable, um, for instance. And if you have those same types of thoughts and things like that, it's, it's okay. Uh, there's plenty of roles in the cybersecurity field. There's plenty of room for growth. Um, so don't get discouraged. Don't get overwhelmed by the amount of uh, information that you know, you're going to run across, that people are going to give to you, that I'll give to you. Uh, there's so much information that you're going to find out on the internet, so many people that you can talk to about the different roles in cybersecurity. Um, I'm just going to kind of go over some of the things that I'm looking to do. So right off the bat, Security Plus, CSENT, um, CEH, Pentest Plus. That's what I'm looking to do. Like those, by all accounts, are beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Nothing expert at this point because I, I don't really know 
what I want that expert path to be like. I don't know where I want to lie um, and, and at my end game. So as we go through some of these um, different exams, uh, some of these different certifications and things like that, we'll try to figure out where we want to be. Um, I'll make more videos like this where I kind of talk about what I'm looking to do, where I'm looking to go. Uh, but this was just kind of like a, this little quick rundown of, you know, it wasn't actually really quick. It's kind of long, so I apologize. But it's just looking at what I'm trying to do to break into the security field. And this is the path that I'm going down. So if you guys found this video interesting or useful, let me know in the comments below. If not, I apologize. As always, take it easy.